As you start to go into quadratic functions, you'll notice that many of the terms we use to d describe different parts and pieces of these uh, sound familiar because you might have used them before. We'll go ahead and cover some of the basic terms just so that uh, you definitely have them in your back pocket when you need them. So a quadratic function is sometimes called a second order equation. This is because the largest power present is 2. Now these are our terms. Terms are parts of the equation that are connected either using plus or minus. In front of our variables we have a few numbers and these are called our coefficients. On the variables, we'll have a, an, an exponent and of course the key for being a quadratic is having an exponent of 2. To get a better idea of what makes a quadratic function a quadratic function, uh, we'll look at some examples and you'll be able to spot the difference probably pretty quick. So first I'm going to write down examples of quadratics. So maybe a good example would be something like y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So you can see this looks almost identical to the template that I had on the first page. f of x equals 3 minus 1 plus x squared. All right, this one's also quadratic, but it doesn't quite look like that form on the first page. But here's how I know it is quadratic. If I was to multiply out these parentheses here, I would end up with an x squared. That's my key right there. Along those same lines, this is also quadratic. And for much of the same reasons. If I was to multiply out these parentheses, I would end up with an x squared. Now go ahead and compare these guys to uh, a few examples that are not quadratic. Now you may recognize this guy as just a line. But the reason why it's not quadratic is because it does not have that x squared. It doesn't have that 2 component. Alright, here's one that I purposely put in an x squared, but it's still not quadratic because it actually has something even larger than 2. In a quadratic, the highest power is 2, and we can't have anything larger. Alright, here's one last one. This one's a close call. You'll see that it has an x squared, and that x squared does happen to be the highest power. Unfortunately, this guy is still not quadratic because it also contains a square root on one of the x's. So, you know, some of the key things you should notice is that it will have an x squared, uh, but it shouldn't have any variables multiplied together, like an x and a y shouldn't be multiplied together, shouldn't have any roots or any fractional type of exponents. So hopefully that helps you understanding a little bit more about quadratics and some of the terms that you will hear.